Hi, I'm Healy Means. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a Backyard Shenanigans video. Just going to show you what I've been doing in the backyard. I'm doing as much as I can. It's going slow, y'all, but it's going. So it rained a lot over the past couple days. Um, <laughs> this is, uh, y'all know, this is, this is my workplace right here for, for the backyard. And I was able to collect a lot of water in these jugs. The water that I had in the oil, I put it in one of these jugs. It's time to clean out and refill the hummingbird feeder so I'm gonna get to that when I can here is some of the undone the unfinished uh, PVC cages covers that I have for the mini raised beds that I've been working on so all six of them are made but uh, so far right now three of them are finished and I'm gonna show you that in just a second and here is how all of my trees are looking I have them lined up so from left to right, I believe the one on the end is the peach tree. Then I have two blueberry bushes. I have, this is the nectar plum. This one is my cherry tree. And then this is the hibiscus. And then right here, I didn't want to come walk over here, but I will. So this is the hibiscus. The branch broke off and I'm trying to save it. Uh, I don't know. I think it's still too early too soon to tell if it's gonna make it or not it's definitely been getting a lot of water from the rain the past three days i think today is the first day it didn't rain or well, maybe it rained like early this morning but it stopped raining and so here's a closer look this is the pink lemonade blueberry and i believe this is bountiful blue let me see yeah this is the bountiful blue blueberry and then like i said this is a peach tree so that's that. I went through today, and except for this one on the end, because they had wasp flying in this aloe, so I left it alone. But I went through the aloe vera, and I got all of the weeds, and then I got all of the, um, like, the dead branches from the aloe, except for this one. I cleaned all of that up. The pool, I repaired the, the net, like the pole net to like that you reach and clean you know you clean it and get stuff out of there um i repaired that just with some garden wire and kind of cleaned out the pool a little bit i mean it's not perfect but i did what i could and then here you see some of the finished um garden cover so like you'll see this one i actually put it on the elephant garlic and what it is, is it's chicken wire on three sides. And then I have the tool on all four sides plus the top. This is the one that's been over the, this kitchen garlic. Uh, this is the first one that we made. And then I figured I needed a little bit more reinforcements from when that opossum got in the yard. And this is one that I just finished. I try like a trying like a little bit different things on each one just to see what's better for me. Uh, what makes the most sense trying to reuse a lot of stuff I already have here. Like this is just a, a cardboard box that I had. I put it up in strips because at first I have um the double sided tape. Y'all remember that double sided tape that I got from Timu? I used that and at first I just had the double sided tape on um, the tool itself, but it wasn't giving me, it, it was too flimsy, so I added the cardboard to kind of give me a little bit of stability, and um, what I did was I went around the three sides, and then this is the front, so when I need to get in the raised beds to pull weeds, to fertilize, to 
harvest, you know, to replant whatever. I'll just undo this one side and pull it back. Do what I have to do on the inside and then pull this up. Oh yeah, y'all, my hands. <laughs> my hands looking rough, but hey, I'm I'm working, y'all. I'm working. This is not um home and garden. This is like real backyard shenanigans work. So for all of the raised beds, I'm going to be pulling everything out. Uh, some stuff I might still be able to use for food and eat it, but I got aphids, aphids, aphids. So this is the stuff that I've already pulled out. I did bring some stuff inside to eat, but a lot of it is just so many aphids. And aphids, I mean, all you have to do is rinse them off. That's it's not going to kill you or nothing, but my patience and just... Uh, you know, it's not as long as, as what it used to be. And it wasn't long to begin with. So just walking through, this is the pink lemonade, lemon tree. I have sage in both of these. I'm going to add some thyme to this one. So this will be sage and thyme. I have sage there. This is the blood orange, orange tree. Starting to sprout new leaves. And then this is the Washington navel orange. And they have buds all over this tree. So everything is waking up. This is lemon balm here, and then that spearmint right there. This is my uh, survival garden seeds, medicinal herb garden. And then um, the four containers of herbs that I planted like a while back. And uh, let's see, some of them have a few things that's coming up. I didn't really you know, sow the seeds in rows, even though y'all know I tried, but that didn't work out. But, you know, we'll see. Definitely got a lot of water from the rains. Um, I have a lot of spinach over here. Got some collars, got some peas. Some of this stuff, like I said, I am going to be pulling it up and bringing it inside. And the rest of the stuff, I'm just going to throw it in um, the city uh, green bins. This is all my root vegetables. I am going to check and see if I got carrots. This beet, y'all, I think this is a beet. Look how huge that thing is. That's a humongous beet. It looked like something just stepped in this raised bed. You can tell, like, by how it's parted. I know ain't no wind blew through like that. This one, this is my cauliflower, y'all. I forgot all about it. Oh, let's see. All right, right here. Yeah, that's my cauliflower. It's starting to separate. I'm probably just going to put that in um, the green bin. We've been eating a lot out of this, though, y'all. We've been eating a lot, and they still just have so much still left over. And this is the last one. So this um, cover right here is going to go on this bed. You can see I have the mesh ladder in all of these. I took the mesh ladder out of the one for the garlic. I could have left it in there because you see like I have the one still in there for the kitchen garlic. But I took the one out of this. I think I'm going to need those mesh ladders. I'm going to use them um, as trellises for some other things. You can see right here. I took it out. This is a mix that I had for the seeds that I potted up recently. After I potted up all of the seeds, I found some spent coffee grounds and I added the coffee grounds to this. Um, but the seed trays, they don't have the coffee in it. And then here are the seed trays. Y'all see all my color coordination. Y'all, I'm so proud of this. But I just did this a few days ago. I had them on um, the table over there where the hummingbird feeder is, but I brought them out here so they could get more sun and even though I'm doing starts, they're going to automatically be acclimated because I'm starting the seeds outside. And then I have the tool over here to protect from bugs, birds, pests, whatever. Um, and there's, you know, some, some depth in this tub. So I would say they have, the plants have two or three inches to grow before they hit the tool. And hopefully by that time, I'll have all of these raised beds cleaned out, refreshed, and done for them a lot of stuff like i said i've just been letting it go to seed these are onions and these are future seeds and i do plan on collecting these seeds um rosemary i think that's i think that's spearmint 
I believe that's spearmint. Y'all, this is supposed to be all beans. But this is, I don't know what this is. Cabbage, mustard green, something else <laughs> obviously is growing in here. Because that's definitely not a bean. And then my other beans, let's see, nothing is growing in here. Nothing in here. And then I have a few, you know, things growing in here. Everything is waking up. Black Cobra hot pepper. Y'all, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it right. This is another one. And then a lot of these are pepper plants, pepper plants, pepper plants. They're waking up. You see a lot of leaves and growth and stuff on them. Oh, you know what? See, I didn't even see them peppers right there. I need to pinch them off. Uh, I do not want the, the, that's too early. When I see peppers that come on that early like that, I pinch them off. So I'll take care of that. This is the red romaine lettuce and that is going to seed. We ate a lot of lettuce off this so i'm letting that go to seed this mystery herb i don't know what it was but i pulled it because it had rooted into um i think one of these buckets i pulled it out to let that die i don't know what that was this is the mystery tomato i already picked off a couple of tomatoes and brought them inside this this tomato plant still scares me y'all i don't think i'm gonna let it keep going i think i'm gonna pull it up um these are the rest of the oils i had and most of them got filled up with water so i am going to transfer them to buckets because the terracotta is porous so very slowly but surely you know the water will leach out the side of the pot i forgot the whole cherry tree that is definitely up you see buds you see leaves and you see flowers Let's see if i can focus on that a little bit yep so i'm real happy about that this is how I'm going to have these buckets set up. So I already have my bucket stand that's going to be full. All of these buckets that you see. So basically this is three pallets. And each pallet is going to have four buckets of stuff to grow in. And then in the middle I'm going to have a pot for flowers. So you see right here like four buckets and a pot in the middle for flowers. And then right here four buckets and a pot in the middle for flowers. That's how I have that set up. And then here, I need to come and clean up all of this. Um, the grapes, y'all. So, this is the Thompson Seedless Grape. And it looks like it's like growing and surviving. I'm pretty sure I need to fertilize these. The Jerusalem artichoke died, but I wonder if the tuber... Um, you know, in the ground is still alive and might grow something out. So, I'm kind of waiting to see... The miracle leaf of life is just growing upon itself like over and over and just it keep growing y'all the patio tomatoes oh my goodness these things is overripe i need to come and pull some of these tomatoes i already ate some but i need to pull some more um and it's growing and growing this mystery pepper and the weed bigger than the pepper almost i'm probably gonna pull this out and start over these are my strawberries. They are waking up. I'm actually going to move these strawberries into, um, I'm going to move these strawberries into the green stalk, vertical growers. So they're going to move from this space. Y'all, my Jamaican cherry tree, I do believe it's dead. I don't know what happened. I'm just, I don't know what happened, but it appears to be dead. We're going to see if it'll wake up or come back to life or whatever. I'm just, ugh. It's just, it's dead, y'all. And then this is the Mars seedless grapes. And at first I thought this whole thing was dead. I just came out here the other day and now look. And now, let's see if I can. Now it's starting to grow again. But I have, so these, um, these mesh ladders. I have this here as... Uh, trellis for the grapes but I need to I'm gonna flip them over so it'll go you know more like this way uh, more like a bow like a rainbow and you know fasten them in here so the grapes will have somewhere to vine over and my hope is that you know when when the grapes form they'll like hang down from the trellis and then I could just get them so this is what the stand is looking like now in my garden layout in the binder that I made. I have everything, you know, kind of laid out how I want it. My next real project is 
these compost bins. So I have a compost bin that I got from the city. And what I want to do is dump everything from here, from these two trash cans into that compost bin. Now stuff is starting to grow again. I don't even know what this is. Stuff is growing out here. Y'all, this look like this is completely dead, but stuff is growing out of here. Okay, so, but this is a whole project. I need to remove all of these rocks. Remove all of these rocks because I want to put that new bin like flat on the ground. You see there's landscaping fabric at the bottom, if you can see that. So I'm going to place that flat on the ground. I'm going to fill it up, and then I'm going to put the two trash cans you know somewhere in this area if i can fit all three things i will if not i'll do the city compost bin and then one of these i might put the other one somewhere else and then this bin um it's a green bin so i'm gonna use it for something but i'm uh, i'm gonna have to put it somewhere else i need to relocate it but this is like a whole project and a half I'm pretty sure I have gallons and gallons of good compost at the bottom of these trash cans, but that's why I need to turn them over so I can get the compost um, at the top and then put all of this stuff that haven't broken down yet, put that at the bottom. This is how the yard looks. It's still not the best like I want it. You know, it's a work in progress, but y'all know a garden is always a work in progress. So I was thinking about using these these little gates little border gates i have been looking up um just like border border concrete border bricks border fencing edging all of that kind of stuff what i want to do was make like a better border i still have to put that green like the green disc around this tree i need to take care of that pretty soon uh, like i did the lemon and the apple tree that you see up there but i want to put uh, just you know like a border around this pallet area a border around this pallet area maybe run like a border up against this a border here um look at this i gotta i gotta straighten all of this up now look i'm getting budding you see those buds on the lemon tree I can't wait for that. Let me see. The apple tree is starting to wake up. You see like some buds and stuff there. So, oh, well, the apple tree never went to sleep this year. Y'all remember last year when I didn't have like no leaves left on the tree and it woke up real late? Well, this year it never went to sleep. Um, but I just was thinking about that. Just having some borders around the palace just so you don't see the yellow. Uh, and then putting maybe like rocks. I have some pebbles, um, but they real small. I don't know if that would be something to kind of like have down the rows, have the pebbles down the rows and have the border um, just around the pallets. Like I said, to kind of make it look a little nicer. That's, you know, stuff I just been thinking about. Um, here, y'all, I still, I haven't done it. I am going to do a video. I'm going to do a video when I try to look and see if I have any Japanese sweet potatoes in here. But you can see they're starting to grow again. So the slips are growing more. Um, I don't know, y'all. I got, <laughs> I do. I have to do so much. There's so much that have to be done. But I have to take care of me first. I don't want to point too far this way because the sun. But here's Aunt Jerry's garden. This did not turn out like I wanted it to. Um, not long after I planted the seeds in this garden, we got torrential rains and winds. And I think it actually blew a lot of the seeds from out here, especially in the back. So this whole back row was supposed to be peas. And I haven't seen not one pea plant. They either drowned or they got splashed out of the... Um, of the soil and then also y'all remember that opossum really you know just did whatever he wanted to do on this so all of this is going to be redone now in my layout in my binder i left all of this blank 
because I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here. This might actually end up being overflow. Like if I get too many plants or the plants get too big for the green stalk or, you know, just whatever. This might be an overflow garden. And I'm just thankful to have this space available. I know I'm slow on content and slow on videos uploading, but y'all, I'm, I'm doing what I can. And, you know, I'm making it work. I appreciate y'all patience and y'all understanding. I definitely do. I know the jury ain't going to judge me too harshly. And I sure appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for this video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Click that notifications bell. Like, comment, and share with everyone you know. And until next time, be safe, be well, and be blessed.